Hi guys, um, this is a, a VR to George, GI Customs. Um, sorry, it's late, brother. <laughs> Just uh, been having a nightmare trying to edit stuff, so I'll try and get this without any editing at all. Um, it's taken a bit of tracking down everything, but it's basically things I would use for home defence. Now, obviously, I live in totally different society <laughs> where we can't have firearms so uh, that's out of the question so I'm left with more you know um, hand to hand sort of weapons um, but I mean a few of them I'll go through this I've had for a long time um, it's a uh, sharpish but long and spiky and I think um, you could certainly do, you know, enough damage with it. This is this is never far away from me, really. It has its set place in the house. Uh, I will eventually replace it with something that I've made, um, but I haven't quite decided on what sort of shape and style and stuff yet. I quite fancy making a trench knife, uh, but I need bigger steel. But yeah, it's nothing fancy, but would do do the job. I'd run if somebody was chasing me with it. <laughs> um, this is normally never far away from me either around the house again. It's not particularly an expensive knife. Um, I've had it a long time and it's seen quite a few different scenarios. Um, I can't legally carry it outside. Well, couldn't anyway, but I couldn't even 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 with justification like hunting or something like that because I have double edged it So that has to stay in the house um, But yeah that lives nearby that's normally that's normally in in, in a drawer next to the bed or uh, something like that And again, I'll replace that with something that I've made at some point uh, What else have we got now? This, some people may may snigger at this, and then some people that know a bit better won't. That is my slingshot that I carry fairly regularly, and it shoots three eight steel ball bearings, or um, I think it's four four naught buckshot, three eighth ish, something like that. Um, it wouldn't do a lot of damage, but I do have another one which for some reason I can't find. But has much heavier bands on that is made for firing these. And yeah, it might not be lethal, but I mean, if you're a good enough shot and at a close enough range, I mean, in the chest, you, you're going to change your mind, I think, if that clocks you. I can't find the actual slingshot, though. I don't know where I've put it. Um, then, obviously. If it really came down to it, and uh, I've done years of Muay Thai, um, quite a lot of MMA, mixed martial arts as well. So, yeah, <laughs> I wouldn't like to be on the receiving end of those. Again, it's not as effective as a firearm, but if push comes to shove and you need to defend your house, um, if the knives are well, the three cats is one thing, but um, if the knives don't do any good then you've got that uh, one thing that's always on my person always uh, even more so now that I've slimlined it is this which I'll do a separate video vid on it anyway but as you can see I've slimmed it down quite a bit um, and that this I, I mean if I go hunting um, or any sort of outdoor pursuit where I can actually carry a larger knife um, this will be my replacement for a fixed blade but yeah that really leaves my side on my pocket to be honest <laughs> my Spartan love that knife uh, then these are a little bit bigger I don't know if you've seen my video um, I can throw this with enough force and enough anger um, and enough accuracy uh, to stop someone pretty quick. 
but obviously you then have the repercussions. Um, there is the hammer side of it, and again, you don't need a lot of skill and a lot of technique um, to be able to use this quite effectively. But that has its place as well. And again, if I'm out camping, wild camping especially, this would be my equivalent of an axe, which one day I will make myself something to replace it, and this can then live permanently where it does. But I'm in. <laughs> yeah. It's not a it's not a 45 ACP, but I think it would work. And the last thing. And again, you may snigger, but in a world without firearms, we've got this. Um, it's axle to axle, it's very short, and it's really manoeuvrable. And the one thing that I do make sure is I've got a full capture rest on it. So at night, fumbling, once that arrow's not, it doesn't matter what I do, all I've got to do is draw it and let go. And on a good day, I could hit somebody in the face at 70 yards with this, no problem. Arrow after arrow. <laughs> Not that I would do that, obviously. Um, so even at night, I mean, I do have illuminated, um, illuminated pins as well, which are quite bright. I'm not seeing them in the daylight, though. And that, even without the wrist brace, yeah, it's fairly manoeuvrable. Top of the stairs, for example, down towards the door, I'm not going to miss at all. But yeah, there you go. And also, guys, if you haven't seen already, uh, George is doing an absolutely amazing competition um, so go check out his channel I'll put links below um, in the description box and I haven't decided who I'll tag yet I'm not sure I'll leave that a surprise we'll put that in the description box I never even thought of it to be honest but yeah sorry it's late <laughs> cheers